Megan from the Gymnastics 2 and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a flyaway and Sierra's just going to be recording and I have chalk on my hands. So um, for what you need to do before you do your flyaway is you need to have a skin the cat. Um, pretty basic and it's going to help you kind of like figure out what to do on the bars. Also something that would be really helpful is any type of back flip that you can do like a round off back handspring back tuck or a standing back tuck. Those aren't like required, but they're really going to help you because if you're doing a backflip off the bars. So anyways, let's get started. For your flyweight, make sure you have nice and solid tap swings. They have to be super hollow. For your hands, make sure they re-grip. When preparing to flip, find a spot that's right for you and start bending your legs when you're on the last tap swing. This will help you have them bent by the time you're ready to flip. When letting go on your flyweight, Find the spot when you're in this position because it's the perfect time to let go so you'll have just enough time to continue flipping. Remember, nice and solid tap swings, prepare to bend, let go, and continue flipping. 